Oh! Hello, buddy. Welcome back to another episode of Just Federal. I'm playing Fire Emblem 3 Mystery of the Emblem. Last episode, um, we did an amazing strategy. It was so amazing. Today, we're gonna start doing this chapter, The Dark Pontifex, Chapter 18. Marth and the others were transported by Archsage Goto's great warp magic to the ancient city of Tab, Tabis. At one time, uh, it was a proud town, uh, possessing advanced civilizations, or civilizations, but now it is desolate and lifeless. At the central of Thabas town uh, is where the Dark Pontifex Garnab is situated. Marth and the others must recover the lost Divine Falchion Sword, and they must rescue Princess Elise, who was captured by Garnab. Okay, here we freaking go. Uh, shouldn't fast forward quite yet, my god. Like I said, it's a freaking twiggy thing here, it just happens. Okay, uh, let's go and see who I can take with me. Okay, Panther, Tiki, Lint, definitely. Um, now, this door. Is this a door? No, it's just a throne. Okay. There's no chest around. Oh, there are some chests. Well, I can open up a chest with, uh, with more, so. That ain't gonna be an issue. My biggest worry is... Um, wait, do you still have the orbs? No, they're gone now. Okay, my biggest issue is her. That's my biggest issue. Uh, deposits. Deposit the thunder toe. And grab yourself. Take you all the way down here. The uh, starlight. Um, another thing that I might want to do... Do I have any of those? Yes. Let me go and get pure water going. And... Powering, sure, also. Because what are her stats right now? She has three strength. <laughs> Fuck me. That's bad. Um, let's go and save again. Do this. Uh, right, I also need the hammer and staff. Was one of the things that I was going to do. Deposits. Well, I can I can grab that from Morph's inventory. Steel and iron. Uh... Well, Kane, you're not going to be that useful, so... Abel, how about you go and grab yourself a silver sword, if I still have one? Yep. Pokemon, okay, well, you still have the Mercury and all that jazz, so you should be fine. Merc, you're also fine, and yeah. Let's just pray, because that's the only thing I can do at this point. Oh wait, right over here. There we go. Oh boy. Marth, you finally come. I, Pontifex Garneth, have been waiting for so long, but for a long time. It is a shame that to secure my grasp upon this world, you must die. Haha, <laughs> Medius is under my control, there's nothing to fear. As long as I have the Falchion and the Imhulu, even he cannot uh, oppose me. Well, Barth, you must do battle with my images. The Falchion will be yours only if you can defeat the real me. Yep. That's gonna suck. What is your resistance? Seven. Hmm. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Wow, that's a one shot. Holy crap. I love Caster, he's freaking amazing. Uh, what is your resistance? Seven, that's a lot. That's way too much for my liking. Um, let's see. Do I have anyone else who can attack at range? No. <laughs> I do have somebody with a javelin over here, so. How about we go and do the trade? Your broken weapon for my javelin. Wait. Uh, and then you can go up here, and you can hit this guy with your javelin. Javelin! 25 damage. And bam. Dang, diddly dang. Dark Mage fell. And we get more experience. Yes. Okay. You can go over here, and you can go into Dragon Mode. Dragon! And she can go over to this side, and she can also go into Dragon Mode. There we go. Okay, I do think I'm gonna get, like, him over here, maybe. Well, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm dealing with mainly mages. Uh, 
I guess I'm just gonna split up the forces a little bit. I'll bring uh, him over to right. He's level 16, okay, it's fine. I wanted to see what level he was from. Alright, and let's see what's gonna happen. <clears throat> the mages are gonna do some. Those are guys are gonna run away because they're scared of me. Elfire misses. On the dragon, Elfire, that's gonna hit, but it's gonna do one damage. <laughs> And now we have this. A critical hit to the face with 69 damage. Okay, next up. One of them is gonna attack him. And it hits, doesn't matter too much, doesn't do too much damage. And he's gonna cast all fire, do some damage, and it's gonna get burned to death. Want to reach level 3 and get no stats because fuck me, that's why. He's gonna get attacked by a sniper. Take 11 damage. Cast is gonna counter attack. 16 damage, and a second time, and it quits. He's dead. <laughs> there we go. And I think my omelette's gonna get attacked. Yep. 3 damage, he's gonna counter attack with his javelin, he misses, and that's it. <laughs> God damn it. How about we try getting this guy then? There we go. And now we just have to hit with this. How much uh, chance is this? 89. That's quite a high chance. Kind of dumb that it failed before. Um, I want to know because they have 7 resistance. Can I do some damage to them? That would kill them. I think Aura might be good. Don't I have a speed ring somewhere? I seem to remember somebody having a speed ring. That might also be really nice for her to be able to double enemies. There we go. He's dead. She levels up. And she gets a lot more stats. Wow. Uh... Okay, um, over here. I guess she can just go and hit this guy with the ice breath. There we go. Levels up again. My god, she's so freaking good. Tiki is amazing. Okay, how about you go and run over this side? Uh, go into the supply. And see if we have ourselves another speed ring. I have another manual, but not a speed ring. Well, if I have a speed ring, it is in somebody's inventory. I remember getting one. That's the thing. Do you have it? No, you, but you do have a dragon whip and the Iota shield. Whatever the hell that may be do. Uh, maybe do? Whatever the hell that may do. You have the speed ring. Item. Uh, trade with her. Um, you can take this thing. Wait. Right, my fire dragon dude can come up here and burn this guy to death. Or at least give him one. A singular burn in the face. Oh, uh, you can go and grab his chest. For the Draco shields, that's pretty good. Um, and the rest can just continue going. I find it so funny that this music is playing in a place like this. What's gonna happen? Nothing. That guy's just gonna run away. That guy's gonna heal up somebody. Probably his friend. Let me go and uh, end your life. There we go. And now over here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he could kill him. 33 damage. If this is a crit, then he... No, okay. He's almost dead, though. Okay, you need to go up here. You need to go and use one of your uh, stat increasing items. I'm gonna go and finish up this guy. If he hits, in any case. He hits, but it's not enough. Right, of course, the guy used recovery. So. Wait, uh, that might have been a mistake. Yep, he's dead. Probably dead. Oh well, if I'm lucky, he might not die. But I very much doubt that that will be the case, so I might have to redo just about everything. Um, what's her health right now? Ah, should be fine. Okay, now what do these guys have? Killing edges, worm slayers, killing edges. Cool, that guy's a worm slayer. She's, now she's going to die. Fuck's sake. How about I get her over here then? With her silver belly grip. 
I'm interested to see how this is gonna go. I have a feeling that this is gonna go bad. People are gonna die, basically. Yep, that's a killing edge, so, um... Oh my god, yeah, it gets great, and he dies, alright. Yay! Oh, how I love it. You know, let me go into this. There we go. Oh yeah, now I have to get this entire bull crap going. That's what happens, people, when you're an idiot. Right, time to dragon. There we go. You can go over here, and you can also go and dragon. She still doesn't have, an, uh, doesn't have any attacking spells, because I didn't give her any. Oh, not with her. Why is it always the wrong one that it automatically goes to? My god. So frustrating! Okay, cool. Bonto got freaking doubled by that guy. Because of course he did. Uh, sure. We can do this again. Which didn't kill the enemy. Uh, not the silver one. Just use the one. Uh, and then you can go and finish this guy off with your steel one. There you go. You can go and back off because of course you took a buttload of freaking damage. Um, I'll go and take care of this guy first. There we go. She can go and kill this guy. And that is gonna be all. So I don't have the quit nullifying thing anymore. Which kinda sucks, but I will. What am I going to do about it? It's just about nothing, really. Alright, time to hit this guy with your silver bow. There we go, he's dead. Now, uh, now comes the interesting part. So, I'm gonna go and put you over there. Up there! Or if you can go and open up the chest to the left first, to get a buttload of money, even though it's... Well, it might be useful still. Alright, Bante, you still need... You do need yourself some healing, but... Well. Those guys need to die, both of them. Unfortunately, for me, enough for me, they're gonna be hitting each other like crazy. Because they're BFFs and they want to touch each other in special places. I'm sorry, they're more than BFFs and they want to touch each other in special places. Alright. Here comes the cutting edge. Who does not a lot of damage for critting? Asshole. Doesn't even double it. You know what? This is actually really good. Eight? Uh, no. I guess I'll just go and use R. Do some damage. She levels up, gets a lot of stuff, like speed. Alright, you can go and finish off this fucker, level up again. Item, trade with her, and give her your speed ring. You can stay in the back because holy freaking crap, you're almost dead. How about I go and get you to go around? Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a good idea. That's why I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, what is your range? Right over there. She can move over here. Uh, she cannot reach. Neither can he them. Yep. Let's just go and get a closer nonetheless. And... 
Let me go and also get the attention of that guy in the middle. There we go. And let's see what happens. That guy's gonna run like crazy. Alright, killing edge. Let's see. Six damage, take your counter attacks, hits. It's got a lot of damage. That guy's second attack. Doesn't crit. Which is just what I freaking needed. Can you reach? No. <laughs> no. Okay, how much defense do you get? You fucker. 11 defense. You know what? I don't even want to deal with this anymore. I'm just gonna do this. And then she quits. <laughs> because, of course. Alright, time to go and use the magical. Uh, the warp staff. No, let's go and use the men's staff. She's gonna level up again. Not, she's not gonna get anything. What was in this chest again? Something was in that chest. I don't remember what. Fucking hell. Right, how about you use your phone, right? Uh, how about I go and put you in the middle of the fire line and... Wait, before I do that, let me go and do this. And now we're gonna do that. Item, use your vulnerary. There we go. And Morph eventually needs to go to the other side, so I will bring him in closer. You're still at a decent amount of health. Weapon, equip. Uh, I... Mm, you don't have the armor stair anymore, so just... Keep on using that one, I guess. Okay, Pantu, you need to watch out because you're almost dead. What is your range? Okay. I can also get Abel in there. And that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, which should I get that? Everybody's favorite guy attacked. Those that dare to wield weapons against me will die. I'll show you the horrors of my city magic in Mudu. hits of course. Dragon was blocked. He was double blocked. Siege Dome. 19 damage. Yeah, he's dead. He's freaking dead. We know that he's dead, game. It's funny, it's funny, really funny. The funniest part about this is the fact that, uh, Lind, how about you go and start using your things? And we'll get you ready for... We'll get you ready for combat. Uh, I'm gonna go and move you down here, so you can get the attention of... of the Armor Knight, hopefully. And nothing else, please. Alright. Yep, there we go. He hits and he crits. Right, you can go and kill this guy with your rapier. There we go. Okay, she can move in closer. And she can go and use her uh, speed ring. Okay, you need to get healed, so let me go and use my physics staff. Go and get your yield. That was the wrong character, wasn't it? Yep. How about I just go... You know what? How about I try this again now? So, let me go and put him over here and use the phone. Okay. And that's enough. Let's see what the... Garn up again. Hits again. That guy's gonna go for him. Um, hey, Merrick, how about you go and... Let's see about fucking this guy. Or at least trying to, I guess. Um, silver sword. Fuck him up. Level 18, okay. So she has now used everything as except for the pure water. Let's see, how much damage would she do with Starlight? Not that much. Uh, how much damage would she take, actually? That's an attack of 24 with her 7 defense, uh, or 7 resistance. How about we do it like this? Item, use pure water. There we 
we go. And now uh, he can go and... How about you just go and run over here? You can go and use your physics staff on him. There we go. Uh, can he reach anybody else that I want him not to reach? Yes. He's probably gonna go for her. There we go. Let's see what's gonna happen, eh? Dark Mage arrived. Cool, so there's more enemies that are arriving. He's gonna go and attack. My boy. She's gonna use Aura. I didn't even equip Starlight. Um, let me go and use Physic again. On her. Let's go and use Starlight. On you, Garnef. Garnef the shit bishop. Alright, please, get like a quit or something. I want this guy out of my life as fast as I can. Garnef's gonna cast his spell. How is it that this spell always hits, by the way? That's 44% chance of hitting. Okay, now it missed. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> the moment that I said it, the freaking moment I said it. Okay, please just quit and kill him. Oh my god, yes, Lind! Yes! Got 70 XP. Well deserved. Levels up. And we get the Felchon! Oh, yes. Oh boy. People are gonna die. I don't believe it. Damn Starlight. But remember. Remember this. You may have bested me. But you won't be able to defeat Medius. With your puny strength. <laughs> I will be patiently awaiting you in hell. Yes. Uh, put away your fire tone. Okay, um, let's see though, because you can take like a hit or two. How about you go and fuck this guy up? Yep. Uh, how about I go and turn you back into a dragon? And to go dragon mode. There we go. You can go over there. Uh, you need some healing, so why don't you go and drink your vulnerability? Or, it's not a drink, I think it's like an medicine type of thing. You're almost freaking dead. You need healing in some kind of a way. Uh, let me go and give him some vulnerabilities. Item, trade, with you. You can have my vulnerabilities. There you go. Okay, let's see what happens in the next turn, because... There's still the Siege Tome and all that jazz. But I'm outside of the range of the freaking Siege Tome. Awesome! Alright, so you are now at 11 HP. Uh, you need to use your item at the same time you also need to turn into a dragon, so let's go into the dragon. Okay, now how much HP do you have? 22 of your 36 normally. Um, can you reach? You can reach this guy. How about you use your Silver Blade to fuck him up? How about you go over here, use a shield blade to fuck the other guy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move her over to the left. How about you use your vulnerability to heal yourself to full? Okay, I do feel that I'm in a safe spot right now. So she can go and attack this mage. There we go, she's freaking dead. <laughs> I still need Mark to go to the other side, I also need him to retrieve his falchion. So let's go and start off by trading the weapon reader. Give me the falchion, please! Instead of the rapier. There we go. Now, I do need to get myself through those uh, center ranks, of course. So we have this guy with his... Oh, it's Garnef. Oh, it's not a Garnef. Is this also Garnef? No. <laughs> I see now what he meant with the, the clones. Um, how about you just go and situate yourself over here and equip your javelin. There we go. You can go over here. Uh, you are at a decent amount of health, so you can also go over here. I don't really think I want to put you in that kind of danger. 
I bet you follow this guy and just fucking kill him. There we go. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do in this turn, I think. There we go, as expected. I'm gonna cast Thorn, uh, Thorn times two. That's bad. That was pretty freaking bad. Um, let's go and use the Iron Boat to fuck him up. There we go. And then I can go and bring him over here, maybe. Uh, hmm. Because I do think that he would still be the best choice to bring up there. So let me go and use my final Physic use. There we go. I still have the Homer staff, so that's still fine. Uh, weapon, equip, javelin. Okay, you're good. Let's go and get Tiki to go back. I love that freaking, the freaking flying animation like that. Yeah, and then boom, like that. I can't even, I can't even recreate it. That's how cool it is. Because usually when I cannot recreate a sound, it's pretty freaking cool. All right. Here comes the meteor. It misses. Here comes that guy. He hits twice. Here comes the other guy. He hits. Gets crit and dies. Another guy. Okay, and he's fine. <laughs> That's the important part. Wait, because, um, hmm. Marv, can you reach? Yeah, you can actually reach. So let me go and... Wait, what does the Falchion actually do? It has less overall damage than a Silver Sword, but it is unlimited to use. It has unlimited uses, so fuck it, let's do it. But it doesn't kill. <laughs> that kind of sucks. The thing is, I do want to kill this guy now, in this turn. Um, crit of 20, attack of 37. Here I come, bitch! Haha. <laughs> Alright, don't have to deal with the meteor show anymore. You got a guiding ring? Cool. Uh, can you kill this man? No. I don't really think that you can. Uh, how much damage would you do? You do 26 damage. That would be too much for him to handle, I think. And I don't have enough heal set, so... Let me go and finish up this guy. There we go. And I do think I'm gonna back you off. Am I? Yeah, sure, just... Just back him off. Staff and Mint. There we go. Okay. And now, uh... Well, everybody's just about dead, so... I think I should just wait another turn. Yep, kind of saw that one coming. Uh, let's see. Anybody in my in the range of this enemy that can? Well, I guess I'll just I could just go and send him over here with a silver lance. That does enough damage. Okay, good. And now let's go and open the chest. Chest. A Draco shield. Alright, now I'm also gonna go and do something else. So, uh, you don't have it in your inventory anymore, right? No. Uh, it is you who has them. No, nope. okay, it's the other guy on the other side. It is you, yep. Okay, let me go and move you out of the way. And it's time that I go and repair some interesting or some good weaponry. Uh, let me go and give that weapon back to him. Weapon trade with you. Uh, give you the broken weapon again for my javelin. Okay, let me go and move you over here. Go into the supply. Let's go down the list. Do I actually have some more physics left? I actually do, wow, that's amazing. Uh, let me go and grab the Hammerne Staff. And Staff, Hammerne, use on this broken sword. Or this broken thing. And the gra Gradifus, not the Gradius, the gra Gradifus is repaired now. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, that's everything I needed to do, so let's go and seize. Marf, I've missed you so much. 
Look at how you've grown. Father must be very happy. Sister, after discovering that you had been taken by Garnef, I was extremely worried. I'm glad you're safe. Garnef captured me so that he could obtain the resurrection staff Aum from uh, Goto. If this staff is used at the temple south from the Luna, it can allow any person to come back to life. Let's go, Mark, to bring back the most important people that you lost. Let's go to the Luna. So, if you lost anybody during the entire journey and were like, ugh, I don't want to go back for him, you can, re you can uh, revive him in this chapter. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this episode, just read. For I was playing Fire Emblem 3, Mystery of the Emblem. Two more chapters to go! And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.